And it's me, Cheese is Life 5, the man, the myth, the freaking legend, not really. Back with Tournament 11, I almost forgot what tournament we were on. Tournament 11, Episode 5 now, so um, I'm going to do a quick jump cut and get right into the first run. We're down to our final five competitors on Stage 2. These five competitors will have just over one minute. I mean, sorry, just just over a minute 35. And our first runner is Atlantic Champ, who in the past four tournaments, past three tournaments he got first place, then the other tournament before that he got second. But he's always, on my course, been one of the best jumpers. He's been competing since the very first tournament, although he did not compete in Tournament 3 because he quit jumping for a little bit, but he returned to jumping shortly after realizing that he wasn't really ready to give it up. And now he has passed the first three obstacles on to the spider walk now. Gotta move through it nicely. Here we go. Nice. He's definitely one of the jumpers that is considered the most to be uh, one of the ones that might win it all. Now the curved body prop, sorry, curved drum hopper. I keep calling it that whenever I talk about it. I call it the body prop. This took Talking King out. And now the triple reverse. This took out Talking King is Poop and my sister. The final one. Ooh! But he will make it, and Atlantic Tramp clears, and that's me at the end. In case, nope, that was not me. Never mind. That was Fireball right there. Fireball at the end, congratulating him. Now our second runner, another new star. Um, we just saw um, Atlantic, who was a new star, and in the last episode we saw Talking, who was the other new star. There's three new stars, so he's the final new star to do his run on stage two. This is the first time ever that all three new stars have been to stage two. And since they've been new stars. Fun fact, Bonneville almost lost his new star spot this tournament due to poor performances in the last few tournaments. Um, but due to him clearing and being able to get to stage two, I allowed him to keep it. But now he's on to the um, Cannonball Alley. Oh no, he jumps too late. Or maybe he just didn't jump at all, but... He didn't get a jump off, really, so he's out, uh, poopy on a stick butt cheek. And now, one of the best jumpers of all time, Flame Vortex 03, taking on the course. He's one of the, one of the pros of Halo, but he hasn't had a lot of success on my course, surprisingly. His most success comes usually in ROG's courses. And even though he doesn't have much success in my course, he still competes every tournament. This is his third appearance on Stage 3. He got here twice before, obviously, that would mean. And the first time he got here was Tournament 2, where he failed, uh, no, where he cleared Stage 2. But then the last uh, time we saw him here was Tournament 7, I believe it was, where he failed the medal spin. So he's had one Stage 2 failure and one Stage 2 clear. Will it be two ooh, stage two failures and one clear, or two clears and one failure? Now the spider walk, he's familiar with this obstacle, because it's been on other courses. And he's done it, and now he is on to the curved drum hopper. This took Talking King out. He's looking pretty comfortable, though. And he's on the pipe, now the dismount. But here we go, the triple reverse. This obstacle took him out the past two tournaments in a row on RPG 445 scores. And this is it, the one right here. The final jump this is the one that took him out before. Ooh! And he barely gets it. And Flame Vortex 03 becomes the fourth person to earn a spot on stage three. Next up is Go Tanks, the final all star to take on this course. Only two out of the three All-Stars that competed got here, him and the HD Fireball. 
And Fireball cleared so far with the fastest time because he's literally like a pro. Um, I don't know why he's standing still now. Okay, he's gonna go. Gonna drop down now. On the salmon ladder try. Now Cannonball Alley, we saw this took out Bonnable. But he gets through it. And now the spider walk this took out I'm trying to think of what his name was. It took someone out. I don't remember who it was. All I know is it took someone out in the last... Oh! Oh no! Oh! And that's another one! I don't know if it took someone out last tournament or is in the last episode. I thought someone failed it in the last episode. And I knew someone failed the last tournament. Now our final runner will take on stage two. And now our final runner to take on stage two is the man, the myth, the freaking legend. RPG 445, the host of Spartan Sasuke. Probably, I would say, currently the most successful jumping course on all of Halo. Also, I just recently competed in the 12th tournament of, co of his course, which I don't know when that's actually going to be released, but you should go watch it. I did pretty well. If you don't know his channel, it's, um, Role Playing Garfum, so he's pretty good, you should go check him out. But, um, he has completed the, um, first three obstacles, now he's on to the spider walk. There we go, this the jump right here appears to be the one that takes people out, and he makes it. Now, this is a jump that I think is pretty hard if you don't know what you're doing, but he gets it. Now the curved drum hopper. This is the obstacle that took Talking King out. Oh no, he hit it! Oh, he got too much momentum and he hit the window, which caused him to fall. So with that, stage two ends. Ten competitors made it this far. Four of them were able to conquer it. Six of them fell tragically into the water. But in the next episode, the final episode, we will see Atlantic Champ. Bubba Fan 37, DHD Fireball, and Flame Vortex 03 try to become the first person to complete Stage 3 since Tournament 6 and earn a spot to take on Stage 4. Thank you for watching this episode. I'll see you very soon with the final. Subscribe.